Hi, welcome back. I'm Steve Graves from the Geography Department, and this is part two of a video tutorial series regarding how to use ArcMap uh, to better understand projections, scale, and the latitude longitude grid coordinate system. In this segment, um, you will have already reprojected the map into what you see on the screen, which is a Mercator projection, which is an ideal projection to talk about concepts surrounding the grid system, the latitude longitude system that we, is used most popularly uh, by geographers today. Where should we start? Well, um, make sure you understand that lines of latitude, these are the horizontal lines that include the Arctic Circle here, the Tropic of Cancer, Capricorn, and the main line of latitude, the equator. Understand that those run horizontal and they help you communicate distance from the equator or distance north and south. Alternatively, lines of longitude called meridian help you communicate distance east or west of the prime meridian, which is this blue line here in the middle. There are two different popular ways of expressing distance from the equator and the prime meridian, and both of them are based on the geometry of the Earth as a sphere, roughly. Um, so, for example, if you look at this point here, it is um, a certain amount of distance west of the prime meridian and north of the equator. If you look down in the lower right-hand corner of this screen, and I'll draw a box around it, you will see that my pointer, my cursor, is at negative 28 degrees which is 28 degrees west of the prime meridian and 59.812 decimal degrees north of the equator. That is being expressed in a numeric system called decimal degrees. Accompanying the lab are instructions on how to understand that, but I'm going to show you how to switch that display from decimal degree system to degrees minutes second system. If you click on view and go to data frame properties, you should probably see that it's the coordinate system tab is activated. If you click on the general tab, and notice that the display unit is in decimal degrees, you may change it to degrees, minutes, seconds. But you might want to wait, or you can try it and see how you like it, because I'm going to show you a second way. You may click OK or cancel. The second way to identify locations on this map is to click the identify button and then move your cursor onto the screen and click any point on the map. So I'm clicking at this intersection and note in the identify information window that the location at which I clicked is expressed in degrees, minutes, second numeric system. If you click on this very small box to the right of this location information window, a drop-down window will appear and you may change it the way uh, latitude and longitude is being expressed to decimal degrees. Note that right now that it's in degrees, minutes, seconds. Also note that there are multiple other ways that can be used to express location on the Earth, but decimal degrees and degrees minutes seconds are the popular ways. 
you will answer a series of questions about latitude and longitude by clicking on the map. Here's what I suggest. For example, if you were asked to identify the location of, say, New York City, you may want to zoom in on New York City as I am doing on the screen, click on the Identify button, click on New York City, information regarding New York will appear in the drop-down menu but also information regarding its location in terms of latitude and longitude. You may also place your cursor on New York City and get a rough idea of the coordinate in the lower right hand corner. Be able to translate between the two systems. Please understand that a negative in the decimal degree system indicates direction. In this case, the first number is longitude, and a negative longitude indicates west. If I were to zoom back out and click on Sao Paulo, Brazil, which is nearly on the Tropic of Capricorn, and I were to use the Identify button, you would notice that it has a negative 42 or a negative sign in front of both latitude and longitude, indicating that it is in both the west and the southern hemisphere. In the degrees, minutes, seconds, west and south are indicated by the letters W and S. So um, pause here and answer a few questions. Okay, after you've answered the questions, you may zoom back out to nearly the full extent. And the next set of questions regard various other projections. So depending on what your instructions say, return to data frame properties from the view drop down menu, select the coordinate system tab, and you are asked to in sequence select several different projections. One of them might be, for example, the Robinson projection. So scroll down, select Robinson, and click OK. Note that the projection changes and that this projection has different strengths and weaknesses than the Mercator projection. The questions surrounding projections now ask you to identify the various strengths and weaknesses of each of the projections, particularly which distortion or distortions are evident in the map. There are several questions associated with that. You may inspect the projections that you are asked to go through, answer a question or two about each, change to yet another projection, answer a few questions, change to one or more additional projections. The last one may be the equidistant conic. Click OK. Answer a couple of questions and pause.